Greetings, programs. My name is Wretch. I'd like to welcome you to They Always Run. Um, this is a game that just released on Steam. I have a link to it in the description down below. But um, this is one I've kept, had my eye on for quite some time. This is a stylized, side-scrolling space western. So that checks off a lot of boxes for me right there. Where you play a three-armed mutant bounty hunter searching for quarry across the cosmos. And I mean, can't get much better than that. It's already got some great music from what I can hear. Um, the text and everything moves very fast. So we're not going to be able to actually do voices or read a whole lot. But let's just go ahead and join join the ride and see what happens here. We'll get a new game started and see if they indeed always run. Oh wow, this is... We get a joke, eh? That's That third arm's handy. Sword attack. Bloody sword attack. Big fan. What if I mentioned a fourth arm? Yeah, Goro's got it made in this galaxy. Get both at the same time. Dodge by rolling. Okay. Dodge. Can I choose where I dodge? Yes, I can. Enemy is blocking with a sword. Break their block with your third arm. Hold RB and use your third arm to quickly move the mouse slash right stick toward the enemy. Ow. Hey, what am I supposed to just kill him? Alrighty. Didn't know if the tutorial was going to send me more stuff. Attack the enemy with your third arm before they can block. Hold RB and use your third arm to quickly... Alright. When you're low on bioenergy, your third arm's attacks are weaker. Counter enemy attacks to regain energy. I figured that having the arm back there would make rolling really awkward, or at least off balance. Blue flashing indicates you're going to be attacked. We're doing this Arkham... Arkham style. Counterattack the enemy a moment before his strike touches you. Counterattacking will instantly kill an enemy and replenishes the energy of your third arm. Huzzah! Your turn now. I like it. Yeah, that text is going really fast. You can hit up to three enemies at once with counterattacks. Oh. Energy meter full. Hitting an enemy with your third arm uses one segment of the meter. like an instant kill too where's the rat oh the rat is back there hey some dude oh I can't kill him boo oh that western music We interrupted the poker game. Oh, crap. Last thing you'd expect from a three-armed dude is a kick. Yeah, that's very true.
Okay. Who is this person I'm talking to? Oh, this is like a diagnostic. Okay. It's gonna take a bit to get used to, but I like the mechanics so far. We apparently know what the rat looks like. Awesome. We did not jump into the fire. Break the wall with your th- And we got our weapons? Yes, we did. You got swords can be used to attack and counterattack. Just go through a door? That's strange. I guess I could do the voices here, but I don't know how fast they're going to go. Right. Oh, whoops. Ow. Use stim packs to restore some health. You can see how many stim packs you have. Look for pouches to increase your number of stim pack slots. Gotcha. Now I'm wondering if there's gonna be a lot of explore like Castlevania or Metroidvania style exploration here. Jump onto the ledge. Simple enough. Wilhelm scream. Oh, this combat's gonna take a little get used to. It's gonna be very pretty, though. <laughs> Stim packs look suspiciously like Mountain Dew. Definitely would explain my World of Warcraft days. Was Jonathan the guy on the... Hey, Padre. Just checking to see. Hollow Knight and games like that have made me paranoid. Actually, this game kind of reminds me of Out of This World or Another World. Yeah, or flashback. There we go. Yeah. We'll figure it out before it's all said and done. Cool. Mario style. Is there anything down here I needed to check first? Nope. All right. Insta kill. I think we just think we just ripped his jaw off. That's the kind of world I want to live in. Lasers. There's lasers. Get out of range of said lasers. Okay. So can we block with our block with our katanas? Guess we're about to find out. There's a game I played called Katana Zero. 
reminding me of it quite a bit. Hey. Thank you. Hey, I... Okay, there we are. I was like, I ducked that. Arby. I wish there was a med pack in that crate. Apparently that is not the case. Oh yeah, I also have the roll. So I guess Jonathan is our uh, Sully. Get some of that sweet, sweet, not back to. Okay, looks like we're gonna loop up and then drop, we'll be able to drop down. Maybe. Love it. You can drop big money too. What you think, Jonathan? Find and break power cluster. All right, some dude. Thanks for stopping by. Round about the size of our fist. Oh, we have a scanner. Wow. We got a lot of mechanics here. Oh god. Attacks with red flashes can't be countered. Roll to dodge. Dark Souls. Dark Souls! I like the Assassin's Creed. Oh, okay. Okay, we can roll. I don't know if we can Jedi deflect, but... Well, now I kind of want to see... Paranoia. Paranoia for days. Cyberheart element. Collect three Cyberheart pieces to permanently increase your health by 25%. I need those. Oh, I can knock things off the shelves. Be a real rabble rouser. Not up to, like, Link Break Pottery, but still. Oh? Yeah, it was like that. There you go. Oh, 
Oh, nice dropkick. I like that. Ow. And we are almost dead. I can start using my surroundings a lot better. Let's see what's back here before we. That leads up to another level. Knock, knock. Ooh. Trouble. Oh, from downtown. Okay, this guy is just snipering. He instantly gets back onto that horse. Good God. Hope there's something good in here. All right, 100, 100 credits. Loonies or whatever you want to call the sp space bucks. Got a loan we have to pay off to Pizza the Hut. So no health in the chests, only coin. That's actually, or at least so far, it's quite interesting. It makes me wonder if we're gonna have to be really, really careful with our combat engagements. Hey, Vito. Why would they even build all these things here? So much parkour as we head off into the light. And a credit sequence. Oh. Alrighty. And it doesn't look like we can head anywhere else here at the moment. I love that stylized background. Hells, bells. That's good stuff right there. I didn't expect you. Okay, so you don't have like an instant recovery. You have got to really plan on when to counter. Otherwise, you just it ain't, it ain't gonna work for you. I like the completely alien landscape. And it looks like we're having we're gonna have moments of parkour followed by combat. Which is cool, I'm all about that. Ooh. Can't go wrong with some no oh, yeah you can. Yeah we can't go wrong. Yeah, okay, gun. Gun! from the checkpoint. Do we get to see the stylized? I need to start using that arm more since I have it. Like so. 
That's how we get rid of the gun. Oh, oh, never mind. Thought that was an insta kill. I was living a lie. There we go. That's what I want to see. I'm getting a weird, like, what if Braid was in a sci-fi world? Alright. I'm okay with this, but, like, what happens if I jump this way? Nothing? Nothing. Okay, we're stuck there. It's another way to get up here if we want it. Oh, I'm sorry, Vito. Hope it gets better soon. Oh, now we can go this way. Ow. Of course there's a train. Arthur Morgan in shambles right now. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. I don't think... Oh. Don't think we should board the train yet. And I was correct. This is going to start moving. It's got to start moving, doesn't it? feel we should be able to go into the uh, train car. Hello! Couldn't dodge that. He's doing the shield bashing. That'd be a really interesting D&D &D campaign, if, if so, Padre. hidden. That's where we were supposed to go up before he broke the thing. Let's go ask the guard for a key. There's multiple guards we can ask. That's convenient. Oh man, you went right for that, didn't you? Give me my Mountain Dew. Got over a thousand space bucks. So they just decided to cut bait on your project? That sucks, Vito. Sorry that happened to you, boss. Okay, do we... Oh, we didn't find the key, we just found the space bucks.
Oh, I ch okay, I gotta get that. I gotta get that timing down. Oh, a friend. Gotcha. Oof. Yeah, building a weather machine seems the uh, correct course of action. Avoid complaints and go straight to uh, super villainy. Gotta get used to. Gotta force myself to get used to those counters. And the thing about it, I'm sure the thing that's most frustrating for you, Vito, is that you know that they have the money for to fund both. They just choose not to. Oh, Lord. Okay, here comes the parkour. I think we just hit a checkpoint. Camera went into a zoom there. I was wondering what that was all about. Add a stim pack slot. Oh, cool. I can have two if I so wish. Go ahead and use one of those now. Ew. So what I've been able to gather is that three armed mutants in this world are like the lowest of the low. Inspect him. Freeze. Actually, it looks like Darth Vader crossed with the, um, that skeleton, um, robot from Judge Dredd. I bet these guys are gonna suck to fight. a new kind of scanner? I feel bad I didn't read it. Because, like, when you start the game, the dialogue is really, really fast, and now it's actually slowing down, so... Press L to see wanted criminal... Oh, that's right out of Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Alright. 
I'm sorry, buddy. I know that your death was not in vain, though. Alright. Bobby Joe! Hmm. Star Trek the motion picture. Okay, so we just have to neutralize them. Oh, Bobby Joe. No. Send a criminal's coordinates to the authorities, approach the body, and mark it with your visor. There's the key. All right. Yeah, not pleasant. Probably comes back missing a few, or heads to the new location, missing a few organs. I would assume. It's going to lead us right back down to where we need to go. Yes. That's good level design. Cyber Heart elements. Hey, buddy. He's the rat, not the junk rat, though. Rex. Oh. Ow. He used Tail Whip. It was super effective. Through the fire and the flames. Say ya. It'd be nice if my guy had some guns. Eh? <laughs> Alrighty, I see what we have to do here. armor with your third arm. <laughs> it's so stupid, I love it. That's like stupid in the best way though. Ow. Ow. That was less so. He did not appreciate that. Okay, we got the fight down. I actually pressed the wrong button there. I pressed counter instead of roll. Ow. 
Ouchies. It burns us. Oh. Okay, I need to jump for that. Yes. Okay. So it is set. You can't, uh... Whoa, we can throw something at him. Hey. Okay, his tail whip has become a second one. He hits both with tail whip. Okay. Oops. Uppercut. Let's see if third time's the charm. Big dino angry. The more I play this, the more it does remind me of Katana Zero. Yeah, come on. Yeah, set damage. Oh, it caught me? Now we will kill her. Hip, bo, bo, bo. Oh, it's hot. Too hot. Finish him God of War style. Woo. Rest in peace, Rex. That was a fun boss fight. He said the name. He said the name of the game. Oh, I got to catch him. Is our parkour skills at work? Yeah, it is. Had a secret entrance. Oh, God, to 
deplete the rat's health and take him in dead. I shall do so. Capture the rat alive, attack him with your third arm to deplete his consciousness. Uh, okay, you got a ground pound. Excellent. It's good to know. And an energy field. Ouch. Ow. Hold on. Can we scan you? I want to scan you. Okay. That's right. I'm just going to punch you in the face. Oh, I'm out of juice. How do I... Ah, that's how I do it. Good. He's fast, though. See, he's got, like, a really fast counter. Ah. I have you so slow with that atta other attack. Oh, my lord. There we go. Alright. I see what we have to do here. Definitely would be easier to just kill him. I think we just punched him right in the crotch. It's a good day. Moving Aiden's movement is limited when carrying targets. He'll instantly drop the body if he tries to jump, roll, or attack. Alrighty. We can go that way if we so wish. We can also go this way. What was this way? Oh, that was his elevator. gonna kill me dead. That's cool that you can throw people off of uh, cliffs like that, though. And the game actually gave me a opportunity to jump out of harm's way. I should have scanned them. I didn't have time.
Okay, red mic. Red mic. No. Not how bounty hunters conduct their business. Yeah, that does not look like a fun way of transporting. Or Boba Wretch. Or Wretched Fet, either way. Merchandising alone. Hello! Whoops. Bloodlust. I gotta remember, slake the bloodlust. I guess I need to go get my quarry. I'm glad I knocked you out. I guess a punch with a super strong mutant arm, like right to the groin, would probably knock you out for a while. I see. Actually, that's a pretty good way of explaining that little snafu. It would suck if he kept on waking up and we'd have to fight him again to knock him out. A fine vehicle. Hold RB while close to a wall. Move your third arm toward it to push the obstacle away. Can we crush someone? Because that would be... Okay, fine. Watch out! Scanning is the cool and smart thing to do. Sound like dare. Oh, actually, oh, I love it. Go to the cargo and place him in the cryopod. I will, I will. But first, I love the fact. That we can check our ship. Those little touches make a game awesome. Cargo hold. Definitely has some uh, Firefly vibes, which I appreciate. Or in like a kitten.
With a little bit of the unreliable. That's right. Alright, need to remember to... The border sector's tar station. Need to remember to scan quarries. So we have frozen the rat in carbonite. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Some power converters at the tar station. I'll waste time with my friends when my chores are done. So are we working for like a... Him. Looks like the police are not in a good way. Okay. Areas of the asteroid are blocked off to us at this present moment. I seek knowledge. So we are going to have to come back. No join the cult the first episode? Aw. Aw. <laughs> Maybe next time. I like that blink and you'll miss it. Cantina. This is a great... Um, Asteroid base. Please tell me the... Cr okay. I, I assume that's the crime lord up there. I was hoping it was going to be like the giant disembodied warhead up there. Or war droid. He is. I'm gonna need that guy's arm. Ooh, 6,500. I know you guys can't see him. Let me go ahead and put my camera up above. Oh, Billy Steeljaw. What a handsome fellow. Taken in alive. And go back in. Well, now we get to explore this lovely base. Where most of it's locked, unfortunately. Let's see what with these barrels this guy was talking about. Can I have a drink at the bar, please? Oh, I have... Okay, I can actually get pistols. Hallelujah. Alright, visor. Got my cutters. Hornets. Can be used to shoot at three targets at the same time. Definitely gonna buy those. What else? Oh. What else can we grab for the upgrades? 
Store more bio energy for use in your third arm. Pistola ammo. Oh. This magnetic device speeds up bullets, allowing your pistol shots to pierce one enemy and inflict damage on the enemy behind him. Should we spend money right now, or should we wait? Let's wait for right now. Um, and we need to do need a lot of pistol ammo. They're sold out of pistol ammo. You know what? It's the oh Aikido. Suit software upgrade allows you to use a knockback enemy as a weapon. This knockback enemy will deal damage to one enemy in their path. Let's see if there's anything else that we need to deal with, but before we leave, we'll go have a chat with this guy. Hey, Arrow. Um, it's really fun. It's a lot like Katana Zero, that the combat is very just kind of reactionary with, ch with a checkpoint system. I'm really digging the world and the music so far, though. Can't drop down that. There's a railing that prevents me from being a ninja. And then we can just go right back. All right. I am going to go ahead and buy all the things. I guess that's what the money is there for, you know? I didn't know if we had to get upgrades for our ship or something. Arrow, thank you for that host. I appreciate you. Okay. Everything but the magnetic accelerator. We'll have to grab some coin for that. Interrupt the... Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Never fight a gunfighter who has three arms. And three guns. That's also important. I miss having a quarry in the freezer. <laughs> it's like, I can grab the rat's body again? I got two guns, one for each of you. So drunk you can't hit nothing. In fact, you're probably seeing double. How you doing, Rufio? Good to see ya. I just love the artwork. It looks like all this stuff was, was hand-drawn. Let's head to our next location. Happy Thursday to you as well. Serena. Very pink and purple planet. Gotta find Billy's contacts, huh? Billy, I heard you lost your contact. Bob Juarez. What a name. Hi. 
Do I have to shoot you guys? Fucking rolling is important. But we can find pistol ammo in the field, and that is good. Good to know, good to know. Oh, I like the adobe dwellings in the background. This world seems so rich and thought out. And it's got cable TV, apparently. Change? You want change? You have to earn it. You weren't going to tell me. You don't get to earn it. You're welcome, friend. Oh, he's another uh, three-armed mutant. You okay there, bud? Oops, I did not mean to use that med pack. Crap, I was meaning the duck. It's down there. Do I need to see? Sometimes games like to do that. Like, yeah, you're supposed to go this way, but... Sometimes the game rewards you for failure. Okay. Oh, that's cool, Cat. This world has techno mages. Fine, you can join the cult. Thanks, Cat. I guess with three arms, he could easily hang from a place. All right. Should I drop in and say hi? I guess it didn't really matter. Now I've been infected with some sort of holy virus. Yes, that is the billiard hall. Can we play billiards? Oh. I thought I could sit, not throw the stool. Hello, Bob. Things are happening. Hello! Was oh, everyone dead? Okay. Except for the person with the gun. Woo! Coming back, Bob. Bob 
brand. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Bad billiard hall. Bad. Okay, we gotta track it. Does Bob have a bounty? I didn't have time to scan everyone else. It's not gonna, it's not letting me. Come on. Nope. So gonna Kool-Aid ban your wall though, Bob. What you get. Oh, there's water over there, I think. Love it. Love ammo chests. They're just randomly strung about. I wanted to see what was over there. I found out. Death. Death was over there. And I nearly did it again. <laughs> For science! Well, you know, Metroidvania games, you gotta do a little bit of exploring. Sometimes it reaps rewards, and sometimes it reaps you. Ah. They have. They have very much conditioned us. Oh, whoops. Kill all the things. about to head into a whole bunch of trouble. Okay, cool. We got the shooter. Oh! I remember, Kath. Are you proud of me? does actually hurt you if you go close. They did warn me. Ooh. I love it. What did I do? Hey, Mon Scott, how you doing, boss? How cool would it be, seriously, if a game company was able to get Lucas Arts in on a game like this, and it'd be like Boba Fett running around in this kind of style? That would be pretty sick. Okay, we gotta follow the power lines.
Oh, you know, I wonder if there was something cool if we had dropped the line early. Well, I'm glad to hear you are doing pretty good, friend. Gotta connect the dots here. That is indeed leading to the sewers. Oh, look, the character actually has a nice, gr like, green glow from the light. That's cool. Of course, there has to be a sewer level, though. Okay, well, if you're just going to stand there... You have double shields! That's not nice! You get a... So how do I deal with you? Can't even shoot you. Hmm. Okay. I gotta do that. I gotta off-balance him with the fist. I don't know if it's possible to go through an entire Zelda game without breaking pots. This is a heck of a temptation. Bioenergy cell. Oot. Hardcore mode. Mm-hmm. You say sewers. What is it? Why does it have to be sewers? It's right up there with snakes. Why does it have to be snakes? We're gonna fight a Dianoga. Oh god! Harpoon allows you to hook onto and pull on rings to cover long distances. Okay. I'm pressing the left button. There we go. Oh, Lord. Use the harpoon to pull yourself up to the ring. Okay. Pressing LB, but it doesn't seem to be. I guess I have to jump. Leap of faith time. Hip! <laughs> That's a big nope. There we go. Man, it's fussy. Oh, I thought he had a card key. It was credits. <laughs> Whoops. The currency! There we go. Alright, I feel better now. I will not feel good, though, if I hit these power lines.
Oh, he hit it. Love it. Okay, I feel... I feel like we missed something. Like we should have went ahead and killed that other guy. Or the one person who had the gun. Hi. Starting to get, starting to get used to it. Combat actually seems pretty, like, organic. Oh. oh, you can scan them after they're dead. Game changer. Definitely want to kill the one with the shield. Um, yeah, me and Liquid are actually going on Sunday. I've really taken to liking Sunday as like a day for the movies, especially considering the fact that the movie theaters are like back in full force for the rest of the year. I'm pretty hyped about that. Okay, we can go back and talk to her. I think. Don't have IMAX. Yeah, that's... That's one of the issues. I've heard a lot of good things, so I'm pretty hyped. Can I sneak up on someone? Bow gone. Yes, I have. Um, it's good. The movie covers like the first third or first half of the of the book. So I'm looking forward to them. Ah! Oh Lord. Um Hold on. Story time here in a second, boys and girls. Okay. Yeah, so I'm... The fact that they're following the book, apparently they changed a few things, but nothing... Hopefully, too bad, but people who have watched it have really seemed to dig it. Hopefully it'll be better than the David Lynch version. I made a shortcut. Got some more coin. And this leads back here, which leads me to believe that there's going to be some sort of shortcut I'm going to have to traverse or head back to. Yeah, I just hit a checkpoint.
Ain't that a shame? Cool. So you said you were going to go see it on the I, oh yeah, you're asking me how the book was. I'm sorry. The book is really good. Um it's different. But if you think about like Game of Thrones where you see stuff you from other people's perspectives, a lot of it is like internal monologues, but I think it's I think you should go for it. Oh god, the bog of eternal stench. How have I been the last few months? Um, touch and go. But I'm... Oop. I have been stenched. But I'm really psyched about game day. And I'm um, hoping that it goes well. Oop! Okay. What are my plans? Um, so the first day... I'm doing a, a two-day. Uh, 12 hours on Saturday, 12 hours on Sunday. Um, the first day is going to be a full playthrough. I've been debating on whether to play Black Sad, which is a kind of anthropomorph anthropomorphic noir detective game that's based off a French graphic novel that a lot of people have been liking. I was either going to do a full playthrough of that or Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And then on, on Sunday, I'm going to be playing just some basic kind of mess around games and liquid's going to be on at around with about eight hours left in the stream and we're going to play um a way out co-op so we're pretty hyped about that oh, 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 oh. there you go Well, I've heard I've heard a lot of intricate good things about it, and me and Liquid playing it should be oh, hello, Electra, woman. There's a treasure chest up there. Oh. She came from up this way. Oh, she went through that sewer grate in the background. That's cool. Take some of her money. slicer in time. Yeah, it seems a lot of this stuff is just creating a path back. All right, fine. That's a lot of folks. Holy crap. I won though. Huzzah. Now we'll just follow the trail of bodies. Oh, you missed one or two. Like 
if you want to do those counterattacks and give me meter, I am okay with this. I think we're going to find out who the hell she is relatively quickly. Into the acid with you. Gory, thank you very much for that raid, man. Two raids, two nights in a row. Greatly appreciate that, boss. How you doing? Can I get a shout out for Gory in the chat, please? Thank you, Gory gang. Top five games for a non-gamer starting extra life. I'd have to think about that. Oh, Lord. Ow. Be a good one to... Be a good one to start. Hmm. I'd say Minecraft. Um, Raft would be great. Um, Greek. Tales of Azor is really good because it's like a... Um, it's like a Metroidvania, but it's like for beginners, so it's fairly easy to get into and not be intimidated by. So let's see, Minecraft. Oh, um, actually, if you want a really good game for people to play for the first time, uh, Spiritfarer would be incredible, because that is a, that's an amazing journey, even if you're not a, you know, a gamer. I would recommend that. It's one of the few games, actually, if not the only game, that's ever made me uh, get teary on camera. And... What? Oh, you hit me through the wall? What garbage. Jackbox games. Uh, Use Your Words, which is another game. Aha! I shoot you from afar! I need some health desperately, though. Maximum health just went up by 25%. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Oh yeah. It's really good. Into the acid with you. Woo! Golf with friends is another good one. All right, we're not jumping into the acid there, I'm afraid. Yeah, the aesthetics are very juicy, and we're not talking about the toxic waste. Toxic love! Oh man, not e a three-armed lady with size. We can't save him, apparently. And we actually need him alive because we need the info, so we are in a bit of a problem there.
Who authorized the installation of these? Beg your pardon? Do I have to jump? OSHA does not approve. Okay. I think that may have been a fluke that first time. Let's try that again. Every time I see, like, these things, it reminds me of, uh... Yeah, holy crap. It reminds me of the Brave Little Toaster. Oh, I see. Sneaky. Wow, that's cheeky. So I wonder if there's going to be a way to go around there. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm right here. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're one weak. Oh, weak. Never mind. It's they got over their weakness. Eat third arm. Please take Wild Bill in. There you go. Please stand back. You have a good bounty? Oh, 500? Yeah, but I like it. I like it a lot. All right, any more random pistons? Ah! Oh. <laughs> Speaking of crunchy. All right, time to run. Yes, almost crushed. First time. First try. One take. Hashtag. I missed that chest over there. I'm sad. Imperial Cyber Genetics Laboratory, huh? So I guess the three arms were a slave race. Maybe they rebelled?
That'll do, pig. That'll do. What's down here? Is death? Okay. I think death. Maybe death. Oh no. Secrets. Some health. Okay. Or just shoot me. Either way. Thank you. Oh, is she going to bring this elevator down and I'm going to have to run really fast? Yeah, that's what's about to happen. Yep, 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 yep. Come on. Oh, Lord, Lord. The gears! All nice and echoey. Mm hmm. Indeed. Oh, okay. They just start. Yeah, okay. Thank you, game. Appreciate ya. Ow. I gotta go all the way down to that bottom one. There is no uh, room for error on that angle. By the way, guys, um, I got myself a new webcam. I hope it looks good. It's just basically the next stage from what I have. Or from what I had. Okay. I go all the way down to the bottom of that. It is a Kyo Pro. I normally used a uh, Kyo, uh, just a Razer Kyo, but I decided to upgrade to the Pro after a horrible experience with the Logitech Pro, and I am quite happy with the results of my purchase. I do still have the old one. I may do some dual cam stuff, and I've got, I'll show you guys like at the end of the stream, some stuff. Oh lord, that was... that was, uh... Ooh. Oh, a bit rough. Loved it. Love it. That's not good. Always with the Tesla coils. Let me. Oh yeah, there we go. Woo! Oh, she got him! With the combo and the runaway. Damn indeed. We're supposed to interrogate him. Ma'am, I have questions. Ooh, what a very nice little plaza area.
Oh, I, I, oh well. I want you to have this this arm. I guess he went straight here after he got out of the sewers. I guess he knows who she is. Oh. Oh, as a flashback. Alright, and I just saw guards, which means that that ended badly, for all concerned. Oh yeah, Gory, I said, it came out on Steam yesterday. It's called They Always Run. I, I recommend it already. Back to our ship, just like Samus Aran. All right, man, you have a good one. Thank you again for the raid. And this is where I'd put my bounty. If I had one. Aw, oh, thank you for those bits. Remember guys, all bit subs and ad revenue here on the channel go to help out kids being treated at my local children's hospital, so I greatly appreciate that. All the good vibes. Engine still looking good? Alright. Guess we head back to base and spend some of our hard-earned coin. Still bugged that I didn't get that other chest, but it's alright. How do we find her? Oh, Mon Scott, thank you for those bits as well. So, like in Star Wars, you got the core worlds and you are in Firefly, you got the core worlds in the outer rim. Right, back to Tar Station. <laughs> oh, man, same. What are you planning to do? Drink. Always, now, forever. Oh, now he's... Okay, good. Oh, Lord, he's trashed. Couldn't hold out another minute. Uh oh. I was wondering, we had one of our... Colonel Stinger. Man called Sting. So these are Imperial Guards. Hmm.
Wow. I like that. We're going to the bar. Now we're going to the funeral. Right back to Serena. And dig it. Bassam Salamander. Not exactly Luke Skywalker in terms of names, but we'll give him credit. Locals place orders in the hunter system instead of hiring a Toastmaster. Wow. You want a Cowboy Bebop game? I still think that there's a lot of games, like the Doctor Who game I played recently, that it doesn't need to be like a super graphic, graphical tour de force or anything like that. Like people still appreciate and like this kind of hand-drawn 2D style. If you had done like a really good Doctor Who um, point and click adventure game, that would have been amazing. A Cowboy Bebop or a Star Wars Bounty Hunter game in this fashion would have been incredible as well. I mean, I think a lot of the, the big like franchises they're sleeping on retro style games because I think that you can still have some incredible um, gaming experiences like this, for sure. Or a Telltale Doctor Who game, yeah, absolutely. But I'll tell you what, guys, I think this is a good place to go ahead and end the uh, first stream of They Always Run. Um, I was curious when I saw the trailer whether it was going to be a game similar into the vein to uh, Katana Zero. And I'm very, I'm, I'm pleased for two reasons. One, it seems to have a similar combat style, but it also has um, at least a play style. Everything else in terms of style is all its own. So it looks like some great characters, some awesome scenery. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing where the story is going to go from here, because this is obviously a pretty tortured guy with a past. And hopefully we will figure that out as we go along. But I do want to thank you guys very much for tuning in. If you haven't followed the Twitch channel, please do so. I try and stream on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays with random times in between. And if you're watching the replay of this on YouTube, I have a link to the Twitch channel in the description below, as well as a link to my Extra Life page where I'm raising money for my local children's hospital via the awesome Extra Life charity. So check out those links if you feel so inclined. Like, share, subscribe. You guys know the drill there. And we will see you next time. Later days, everyone.